Ты посмотри себе. Я знаю, ты посмотри себе. Я знаю, ты будешь искать его славу. Я знаю, ты будешь искать его благодать. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop.
Bishop Dr. Greg Omogadenko of God's Encounter Ministry, also known as Ark of Rapture, situated at Ori Delta State of Nigeria. And if that wasn't clear, he's Apostle Dr. Greg of God's Encounters Ministry, also known as Ark of Rapture, located in Nigeria. And as you can see here, there's a collection of videos from him about his physical meeting with Jesus. So, despite calling himself an apostle and claiming that Jesus met him in person, we're going to look and listen to some of the things Jesus told him in this video. The transcript is also posted on this site here from Greg, and you can see that it is Jesus saying these words. It would appear that there were some false rapture dates given in the past and that it was postponed, but is now available, although I couldn't find a specific date anywhere. One thing Jesus said is that he's decided to leave his throne temporarily to do some last minute evangelism to redeem his image. And he's going to mention many things that will send us to hell. He talks about jewelry. And remember, this is Jesus telling him this. All jewelry of any material should be avoided, including earrings, necklaces, chains, rings, wristwatches, and more. And that anyone who dies while wearing these will go straight to the hotter part of hellfire. Humans should avoid the wearing of all forms of jewelry or ornaments made of gold, silver, bronze, iron, and rubber. Anyone who dies with these ornaments on his or her body will go straight into the hotter part of her fire. He talks about skin bleaching and demonic soap, and that anyone who bleaches their skin has changed from natural to unnatural and cannot enter the kingdom of God. I don't know what they're going to do in Asia with all those skin whitening products. Sorry, cowboys, but looks like God's really against jeans and other demonic fabrics. And anyone that dies in a pair of good old blue jeans is going straight to hell. And Jesus told me very clearly that Christians should avoid using jeans products. And if anyone dies with jeans pr product on his or her body, he or she will land in hell fire automatic. And for those 70s kids, yep, polyester's out too. And so are all animal skins. So throw out all those leather jackets because they'll get you a one-way ticket into the lake of fire. And we thought the Jews had a lot of laws to keep. 
Sorry ladies, but we got a big ol' nasty list of hair rules for ya. No braids, no hair dye, no perms, no nothing, or you'll land in hell without pity. And this also includes hair attachments and extensions as well. Because all women who die with those on their heads go straight to hellfire. No woman I created should use with on wig or any form of attachment on their heads. All women who die with these on their heads head straight to hellfire. Sorry America, I know how much y'all like your football, but anyone who dies a footballer without repenting is going to hellfire. And the last one is tattoos. Yep. If you don't repent and have them removed, according to Greg, you've already taken the mark of the beast. Oh, and stay away from that Red Lobster restaurant too. If there is anyone out there that follows this man Greg, stop and realize that you are saved by grace through faith when you repent and trust in Christ alone for the payment of your sins and his finished work on the cross. I know so many of you will find it difficult to believe that I am Jesus, the Christ of God. Well, this is a generation without faith, an unbelieving generation. A generation without faith is a generation without hope. This is why I am made manifest now. To give you faith enough to believe. I know you people after watching this will say what the Bible is, has predicted is what is happening. That I am an antichrist, a false prophet. You don't have spiritual understanding. I gave them that message. The prophets of old, they were carried along by me to write it. How would you, a carnally minded person, understand what I inspired them to write? By the power of the Holy Spirit. You have been praying for so many years. You have been praying for so many years. But the answer seemed to be far away. Prayer is good, but prayer is not the key. Obedience is the key. The first five million of you that are going to subscribe to my channel, to God's channel, Savior TV the cherubims of God from the celestia are going to open the storehouse of blessing upon the lives of these five million people. I am not prophesying to you. I am telling you I am the word of life. I am telling you what has happened in the realm above the senses in the celestial world. I am Jesus Christ. The ultimate hover of divine power you must know who is talking to you now many of you will comment and say so many things that are not you can say whatever you want but you cannot stop the move of God I am Jesus the son of the living God and I have come to liberate the spirit of man and to complete and fulfill all things as many as will receive me, to them I will give the power to become sons of God.
whether the world likes it or not. They have to know that Olumba is God. Whether the world likes it or not, they have to know that Olumba is God. Whether the world likes it or not, they have to know that Olumba is God. Whether the world likes it or not, they have to know that Olumba is God.
I want to deliver your children. Lord, I want to deliver them. Father, you have given the key to Peter in order to now to deliver the children of God. Father, I need the same key of David to deliver the people that who are being locked down in different altars of darkness. Father, I have no power on my own, oh Lord. Release the key! Release the master key of Jesus! Release the master key, Lord! I need it! Your children are suffering! Your children are crying! Business are not moving forward! Father, I need it! Papa, marriages are not miscarriages and the rest! Father, some are looking for children! Some are looking for marriage! Some are now, they want to make it in life! Some want to go to abroad! Some of their documents have died down! They lock them down! Oh Lord! Father! I need the key of David. Lord, release that to me. Release that. Release the keys of David to me. Release the key of David to me. In order to now. Jerry Meyer, my humble servant. I have heard your cry. I have given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. It is the master key. With it, whatever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Go and give it to my children. As they follow your instructions, they will succeed and testify. Lord, I thank you for the grace you have now released unto me in order to set your people free, in order to deliver your people, your children that who are in bondage. Lord, I can see the keys of David. It is written, whatever thing that be locked right in heaven, no man can open it. And whatever thing that be open right in heaven, no man can be locked it up. Father, I have seen the Lord, the greatness of the Lord, and the grace of the Lord. I have seen the keys of David right in my hand. Oh my God, my God, 
God, you have done it. Now it is time for you to come over this program. Brethren, come and receive your key. The authority has been given to me. Hello and thanks for joining us. This is TVC News at 6. Let's begin with education matters. And we'll begin in Sokoto State where the management of Shew Shagari College of Education in Sokoto has announced the indefinite closure of the institution after a female student was reportedly killed for alleged blasphemy earlier today. The student identified as Deborah was said to have been attacked by an angry mob over remarks considered to be an insult to Prophet Muhammad. An eyewitness said the incident started when the lady was asked by her colleagues how she managed to pass her exams and not by her response. The source said she was asked to withdraw the statement to which she refused and the action led to a mob attack. Reacting to the incident, the college directed all students to vacate its campus immediately and shut the institution indefinitely.